and the Saints. One great user in Nick Hacko to kick it off here in the NFC South here in Pizza Hut Stadium. And he'll be filled it at the 14-yard line, and DeMarco will lay down at the 22. Here's the playbook's one great user. He's going to be on defense, rocking the Jets' playbook. Yeah, th he's going to have that Raiders offense. We've talked about it all tournament. If you are a runner and your scheme is to run the ball, the Raiders' playbook is for you, and user has mastered that playbook as he's been using it all season long. And Hacko's going to be on offense, and he runs out there with the West Coast. Yeah, and on the other hand, if you're a passer and you want to air it out, West Coast is going to be the playbook for you. It's the most popular playbook in the entire tournament. And I like Nick Hackle running this because he also has the jukebox with Chris Johnson, what's going to allow him to effectively run the ball and pass the ball. So he should have a balanced attack out of that West Coast. Both these guys with 13 MCS wins. Looking to add to it. No. And they got the audible set up, and we are ready to go. Scott Cole and RG here live from Redwood City, just outside of San Francisco, as we continue to rock and roll here through the Madden Club Championship presented by Stickers. No you see user, he's going to be talking. I'm telling you, this guy has an infectious personality, a ton of charisma, so you can expect him to be talking to himself all game long up there on that main stage. Well, let's start it off. Ball at the 22, and Russell Wilson will hand it off to Johnson. He's got some room, a lot of it. One man to beat. Can he get by Dion? Couple jumps, and he's to the crumble. One play, one score. Welcome, Nick Hacko. And we were talking about one great user talking. You hear Nick Hackle up there just opens up the game with a big run. One great user not showing good user with the defender. Poor stick on the Pat Tillman and that full Chris Johnson has 96 plus speed and he was on his horse. Advantage Nick Hackle to open up the game. Buckle up folks. One great user's already been put on skates. Here in the opening play of the game, let's look at it one more time. Chris Johnson, see ya. It's just bad stick work right there on that Pat Tillman. You spend all that cap on him, give him tackle supreme and enforcer. You got to be better than that if you're one great user. And look at the emotion right there from young Nick Hacko, the 19-year-old from right, Beaver, don't... Pennsylvania. Don't worry. Don't so worry. user finds don't himself down a touchdown. Down. Just 15 seconds into the ball game. And that's tough if you're user, Scott. This is a guy that won a Madden Challenge Regional all the way back in 2007. That's how long he's been doing it. And it's been 12 years since he's been back on the main stage playing for big bucks. And then your first play of the game, you let up a big run like that. But I'll tell you what, if anybody has the mental capacity to fight through that, it's going to be one great user. This is a guy that doesn't get very frustrated. He doesn't go on tilt, and he knows how to have a lot of fun up there and keep himself in the ball game. We were talking earlier, you said a win here for user would be the biggest of his career. You could say the same for Nick Hacko. For sure, both of these guys, the biggest game of both of their Madden careers up until this point. Chris Johnson, the former East Carolina Pirate, will take it ahead for two. And if you're user, Scott, you have a run-heavy type of scheme, so you can't afford to fall behind too many points to Hacko because that's just not the way your offense is built. So that makes this opening drive for him that much more important. He's going to need to execute. One great user brings in the number five rushing offense at 123 yards per game. And he might need more than that to have a chance here today. Johnson stretches it out, gets a block on the outside. He's got some room. And he'll step out of bounds on the 48-yard line. Good play by user. Good stick work. It looked like he was going to take a delay a game, was able to get the flip playoff at the last second, run it to the left. Turn it into a nice little game. And Hacko should be fortunate. Chris Johnson's jukebox didn't let him break to the crib right there. Jackson able to hold on and force him out of bounds. And this time it's a meeting in the backfield, and he'll lose a yard. And we saw that from Nick Hacko when he won his Saints Club championship. Not only did this guy have run defense, he had hats on ball all over the place, and that was a good example of it. His 3-4 defense is not to be messed with in this run game, but if anybody could do it, it may be one great user. 
22 personnel one more time here on second and 11. Chris Johnson will dot the eye. He's using a lot of this clock. And Chris Johnson will make his way to midfield. And here comes a third down. And this is where if you use it, it's tough. You're a run first type player. I know part of him wants to run that ball, but you have that Tom Brady with the hot route master ability, which is going to let you open up things through the air right here. He has a decision to make here. Do you keep the ball in the hands of Chris Johnson, your best player? Or do you put that hot route master to work and try to dot up on this certain eight? He has a third down conversion rate of 39%. That's 30th out of 32. And he's going to call a timeout. Can't take him with you. Yeah, I was just going to say, and look for him to pass here. If he's going to come out in this 11 personnel, you got to figure he's going to go to the air. If user wants to run the ball, he's usually in that 22 personnel with those two tight ends and those two half, that halfback and the fullback. This is one great user's best finish ever in the MCS era. Before this, it was 65th back in the Madden 18 club championship. Trying to double up his money here. Hester moves to the outside. He's going to hand it off to Chris Johnson, and he will find the first down. Oh. Big play right there from User. I think he had Hackle fooled like he had me fooled. That was for sure thinking he was going to pass the ball coming out in that 11 personnel. You got Brady with the hot route master. Instead takes a page out of Drini's playbook. Goes to the hand, that inside zone out the gun tight slots, picks up the first. Brady, they'll go back to the run. Chris Johnson nearly got through there, but Troy Palomalu saves a touchdown. Yeah, and that play right there is user's bread and butter. That's going to be that stretch X alert looky. And an I form twin tight end formation. This is one of the toughest plays to stop in the game, and there was why. Hester. He's standing. On the RPO, we'll pick up the first down at the 25. Yeah, Scott, if you're a runner and you're playing Madden 20 and you're not running that stretch alert X looky out of the I form wing, you're just not doing it right. And now Chris Johnson. Can he get to the pylon? And we got a time ball game. Come on, player. In previous Maddens, I wouldn't call it a tie ball game, but extra points pretty much good. You think I'm going to get shook off a busted play? First play of the game? <laughs> Man, please, bro. And that's what please, I was bro. telling you, Scott. This you is a guy, know. user, you hear him. You think Tell I was going to get shook off a busted Tell play? A lot of players might get enough. shook. But this know, guy man. knows how to keep his emotions in check. And most importantly, when he's Tell up there playing that, the man. game of Madden, he and knows how to have fun. The thing is, is that he let me score. Like, Oh, well, he's able to take up three minutes and 25 seconds on that oh, drive. Man. And now Ooh. Nick Hacko will get it back. But look at this run again. Yep, again, that stretch, alert, X, looky. It gives you a stretch to the outside, but then you have the wide receiver running a slant from the backside. A very tough play to stop, especially if the quarterback's right making the right decision with the handoff or the RPO. That's a new feature in Madden 20. This is the first year we've ever seen the RPOs in Madden. Oh my gosh. Two plays, two scores. Chris Johnson, the speedster, and Hackles back on top. Look at this. terrible. This is terrible. I ain't gonna lie. He making it look like I'm pure trash out here. That's terrible. <laughs> Jesus, man, what's up, man? This is a okay. old head versus the okay. youth movement for sure. Uh, this Stop. is tough for you, user, man. Right I'm right telling now. you, Scott, where he takes the most pride is in his defense. He's been right known now. in the Matic community for years as a defensive guru. And now you have two plays for Nick right, Hacko and two big long runs for touchdowns. You know if you're a user, you're going to have to clean it up. This is just uncharacteristics. And hats off to Nick Hacko doing what it do on the ground. Let's take a look at this replay presented by Snickers. It's a touchdown. And that's CJ. We talked about it. He gets up to 96 speed with that power up in that sprinter cam. Oh, and once you give him a little bit of daylight, it's going to end up being lights out. Well, they say the numbers don't lie. That user defense against the run is actually 23rd here in the tournament out of the 128. 
Yeah, you can't be giving up. You spend that much cap on Tillman. You, you need to make a play with them. Users manually took him out of the play two times now. See how he responds on offense. He's going to the pass, and he's going to go up top to Hester. And he can't pull it in. He had A wide open. Oh, man. Oh, his tight end was wide open over the field with no safety. Yeah, I saw that, Scott. Hey. No one around him. Instead, he goes to Hester. We're going to have to fight today. Y'all know it. We're going to have to fight today. And with that, Hester, that's 97 speed, I believe, going up against a 94 speed Dante Jackson for Hacko. That's one user's expecting to go to the crib. Oh, yeah, Dion. Oh, they can pass. I like the emotion of Hacko Scott. You can tell this young man came to play. Look at him. He scullied up. It's okay. Not a Saint scully on. Now he's got user in a big third and 11. Hacko's looking strong right now. That's been the game plan. Put a runner in a third and long situation. Needs to get just, just shy of the 35 there. Keep user the drive alive. User told us after his win, he's legally blind in one eye. He's not trying to pass this ball and have to make reads. Get home, man. And, oh, no. oh, God. God. Mm. and Johnson over. will pick oh, it up. That's Lane Johnson that'll oh, no, we gonna play play right take here. it for a gain of two. Oh, and here's a fourth and nine. Should be. I think a few users, you got to punt this rock. Oh, yeah, oh, he's going to oh, have to punt. Oh. Can't afford not getting this first down and let Hacko stop you and already be in field goal range to make it two possessions. Well, Archie, that's the end of one. 14-7 in favor of Hacko, who's only run two plays for two scores. And then gets this big defensive stop. This game has been all Hacko so far. But I'm telling you, user has been known to play defense. If he's going to get some momentum, it's usually on the defensive side of the ball. And it's a fake. What is this? Chris Johnson, oh, oh, he missed. And it's going to be new life for one great user. He hit him with the okie doke, Scott. He says it out loud. I'm going to punt. He fakes us out. And then he goes with the beautiful scum tactic with the fake punt. Gets to the outside. And in the Madden world, it's good to be scum, Scott. You got to constantly be trying to deceive and trick your opponent and catch him off guard. User hits him with it. That is a humongous play. That was crazy. That's the second fake punt that we've seen in the tournament. And has gone for a first down. First and 10 out the 42. Scott Brady. Hester. And he held it. He had Y open as well on the flat. He's looking for that deep bomb to Hester. He has that full Brady. And here's that replay. Look at CJ in that jukebox. Whoopsie. Big first down. Good play call. Good trickery. It's been a while since we've seen something like that, RJ. Hey, he's the oldest competitor in the tournament. He's got to have a few tricks up his sleeve. Shea's here in there at fullback. He'll line up at tight end now. And he'll head back. Second and 18. And he'll hand it off to Johnson. Johnson gets to the edge, but Troy P's not having it. And we talked at the top of this game when we showed the abilities that Troy P was secure tackler and unfakeable is going to be Hackle's best counter in the open field against that Chris Johnson in jukebox. And that was a good example of it right there as he matched the tackle from distance and able to keep Chris Johnson to a minimal gain. That's a good usage of abilities by Nick Hackle. He got to cash in after the fake punt. And this is stretcher, X alert, looky. And two boxes to the outside, and it goes nowhere. Maybe got a yard, and now you definitely have to punt it away. Oh, uh, that's a shame, too, if you're a user. You got your trick play up your sleeve. You save it for when you need it. It works, but then you're not able to capitalize on the drive where you used it. It's a tough break for user, but great defense from Hacko. Okay. And it's a decent punt that goes out of bound at the 16-yard line. Remember, Nick Hacko has only had the ball for about 22 seconds or so. Two if plays, that, two scores. That, right? I'm, I'm counting kickoffs in, in there. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, he's going to have all three timeouts to work with. 2.45 to go in the half. I want to say a happy Wednesday to you folks that are tuning in out there. 
the hell going on? We it's had a okay, great though. day in the we're AFC yesterday, and the I NFC looks about. like it's going to replicate. <laughs> Second and 12. This is where Yuzan wants tackle. He wants to see him pass the ball. And there's John Ross getting to the outside. Hey. Hey. I mentioned one great user, one of the oldest competitors. Evil O got eliminated, but Boogs, he's playing civil right now on the other side between the Falcons and the Buccaneers. We got highlights of that coming up here at the half. So many good matches going on. And tomorrow and Friday is going to be bonkers. This is where user wants him, Scott. You hear him saying to himself, go get him. And when he's saying that, that means he's sending six or seven defenders, sometimes eight, at the quarterback. Look for him to send all the dogs right here at Hacko. Question is, can Hacko pick up the blitz? Two-minute warning. Seven-point lead for Hacko here on third down. They do pick up the blitz. Wilson gets to the outside. He's going to use his legs, and he fumbled it. It's a scoop up by Griffin. Come and he on, can't get to his feet, but User's going to have no. the ball at the 24-yard line going in. Game. And we've seen him make some bad plays on defense Bro. with his User defender. Bro. That time he clicks on, I'm makes so a beautiful sweet. User tackle, forces the fumble. I and so I told you, Scott, sweet. if he was going to get himself some momentum, get himself back you know in what? the game, he was going to have to do it on Can defense. You? He comes Y'all through right there, there, and now we got ourselves ball game. Y'all let me know. Yeah, when we try to win flash close. Win flash close, dude. So no timeouts, 152 left in the half. And he'll head up on her center. Ah, man. Yep, he's in this wing flex close. It's usually either going to be a dive or a stretch to the outside. That's what you got to look out for. And he'll go to the dive. Pinballs his way to the 21, just outside the red zone. And Hacko's going to use a timeout. Yeah, when you see this wing flex close, you know, some guys can pass out of it, but mainly that's what you got to look out for, is that inside run up the middle or the stretch to the outside with him trying to get the numbers. It's tough to stop both of them. You kind of got to guess right. Second and seven now. It's going to be stretch left. And he'll go to the right receiver side, and Dion can't make the tackle. He makes two miss. Needed one juke. He came up with two and steps out at the six-yard line. We don't make him work, man. He been getting, yo, he been getting free points. He been getting free money. User trying to tie it up here at the half. Goes back to Chris Johnson, and this time the edge. Sealed off by yeah. Troy P. And if you're a young player, Scott, one thing to take away from user is just look how comfortable he is up there. So many things have gone wrong for him. He's made some bad plays, but he continues to have fun, continues to stay focused, and locked in at the task at hand. And that's just so important. 137 to go now. He wasn't always that way, Scott, by the way. I can imagine a young, one great user. Oh, yeah, he on that. One timeout remaining for Hacko. And Chris Johnson, no sir. This time Dion makes the tackle. Nick Hacko will use his final timeout with 133 to go. So he is going to get the ball back here near the end of the half. The question is, will it be a touchdown or we have to settle for three? Yeah, this is a huge play. Look for user to quick hike at this stretch, maybe to the left. If he doesn't get this, he's going to have to take the three. And Chris Johnson looking for the pylon! And he got it! Touchdown, user! Now the D trying to tighten up. Y'all know what we're going to do. Hey, y'all know what we're going to do. We're going to make him earn it. We're going to make him earn it. You see the difference in body language up there, Scott. User having a lot of front. Hackle looking a little bit discouraged. If you're Hackle, you got to stay confident, stay poised, know that you're still in control of this ball game. You're getting the ball back in a tight game. You can take the lead right here. Don't let User's charisma throw you off. So DeMarco will take it for Hacko, and he'll lay down at the 24-yard line. And it looked like it was going to be all Nick Hacko, but here comes User. And look at this race to the sideline. Palu versus CJ. Game of inches, and CJ's in there, and User's failing it. We got a good one here in the AFC South. 
at the highlights of that Civil and Boogs game coming up in about a minute 27. No timeouts remaining for either of the competitors. And so the clock's going to be on the move. But how about Chris Johnson for Hacko? Four carries for 154, two touchdowns. Yeah, his, his offense like looked that. great on those first two Dude, runs. Running, uh, then he had that big turnover on his last drive. Yeah, Russell Wilson would cough it up. And that led to points for one great user. Ken the Youngster, 19 years old from Pennsylvania, put it together here with under a minute to go in the half. Chris Johnson gets to the second level, goes right by Tillman. Yeah, Chris. No, and no, Dion, no, no, boy, should have no, went no, out of no, bounds no, there. No, They're going to mark him down at the 36. Okay. And this is going to be a huge runoff. He don't really want to pass. User just all. doesn't have run all. defense right now for these stretches and shotgun runs that Hackle's throwing out him. He's getting caught on the wrong defenders. He's trying to click on the Tillman. He's not using them correctly, and Hackle continues to take advantage of that. So 30 seconds to go now. I say he should have went out of bounds, but. I don't mind the jukebox opportunity to break away from a guy that doesn't have a secure tackle. Yeah, because it's a chance for a crib shot. And he'll get to the line here, and I think we'll see a spike at a field goal. It's going to be a 52-yarder coming up here for Hacko. Come on, bro. What a first half it's been. I can't let this pop. Hacko trying to... I can't let this pop. Break the tie here from a bunch. with a field goal. The West Coast and ain't throwing no dice. What? <laughs> you hear user? He wasn't expecting. Someone's in West Coast. You don't used to them running like this. He oh might have missed. Oh boy. He might have missed. You see right they here it, that you? accuracy bar right outside. It is up. It's drifting right. Oh, it is off oh, the crossbar. Oh, Dawkins oh, here oh, at the end baby. of the half. Oh baby. And the momentum, all with one great user. 14-14 here at the half in the NFC South, and that gives us an opportunity to check in on Civil and Bugs with my guys, Nick and Tyler. You guys having a fun up there? We've got a great game between Bugs and Civil. This one back and forth. It started out with Tyreek Hill in a crib shot. Yeah, this was some filthy stick work by Civil to go up 7-0 with that Tyree Hill, man. That was nasty. And we've had a battle so far, back and forth. Low scoring game, I thought it'd be a little more high scoring than it is. It seemed like Boogs may be a little out of his element early, but his defense stepping up big to lurk with Denzel yeah, Ward. Great lurk right there by Denzel Ward. And just a nice sticker right there. Couldn't get in the end zone, but we're in a battle here. He was able to take a field goal, cut into that lead 7-3. and. This game went a little slow. It wasn't the most exciting first half because both these guys trying to feel out the offense. Boogs though with a big play to Marvin Harrison yeah, that, really got things going. That slot apprentice on that post with Marvin Harrison. And like you said, Nick, we thought it was gonna be a little more high scoring, more points than we, than there has been. A little surprised to see that. It's 10-7 at the half, Boogs on top, but Sybil very much in this game. Oh yeah, for sure. Second quarter right now, close game, going back and forth. I'd like to see who can get that big score in the second half to take advantage. This game seems like it should come down to one or two plays. Remember, guys, you're going to be able to watch all these games on demand. That's right. I know everyone in the chat wants to see the Civil and Bugs game. It's going to be on the Madden Competitive Gaming channel. Boy, what a game we have on the main stage. Scott and RG, you having fun? Well, the fun is an understatement right now. It went back and forth. It looked like Nick Hacko was going to come in here and just kick one great oh, man, user right, right out of the studio. The Next thing you know, he fought he back, and we are tied. And, and one great user is going to get the ball here, ball RG, to start the half. And yeah, and ball, as you can see, and to, to take out a guy like user, you're going to have to beat the virtual bag out of him on these mat in this Madden gridiron because he is just – it's going to take so much to discourage him. He's going to continue to fight. And he's going to continue to have fun up there. But if you're Hacko, you got to believe in yourself. You've played phenomenal Madden up until this point. And your club, you knocked off one of the favorites. And Allen, one of the most best up-and-coming players there is in the circuit. you got to believe in your skills. Continue to execute and try to, execute and try to get the job done. So they'll start the drive at the 26. Back to Chris Johnson. Troy Palomalo, the man from Southern California, will come over and make the stop. 
And I was talking to Nick Hackle before this event, Scott, and it's really, it's really he said Yuzo was the guy he prepared the least for. He said there's no way the Falcons are going to beat the Niners, so I'm not going to get matched up for him. I'm going to prepare for similar bugs. And sure enough, that upset with the Falcons just changed everything. So Hackle coming into this game, admittedly not very well prepared for Yuzo. I think Vegas thought the same way. 14-14. That really shook things oh, yeah. up oh, yeah. here in the oh, club yeah. championship. Fast, and he boxes oh, it up yeah. here on second yeah. down. That's going to bring up a third and 11. And that's not the down and distance that one great user is searching for. And I like to see that from Hackle. You see him showing a little bit of energy. He's got some of the best run defense on the circuit. Gets some hats on ball and lets user know about it. Big third and 11. Brady will flip the play. Johnson will go over on the left side of Tommy Ballgame. Now back to the right. Let's get past the 35. Let's call it the 35 and a half. Early a minute 20 gone by here in the third. Scott Cole, RG with you. Brady all day, and he throws it up underneath. And Grant, who? Works his way to the 37. It's a first down. I was just going to say, Scott, there's no way. Hughes is going to dot anywhere here besides Hester. The rest of his receivers are all 10 caps. But then he gets 10 caps. Grant just wide open underneath on a short drag route. And who would have thought old man Huser would have cooked up a hottie dotty on third and long. So that makes it a first down at the 37 now. Two minutes already gone by. Brady will oh, hand it off, gets a block on the oh, outside, yeah. but someone forgot about big number 50. Comes through and makes a huge play by Ryan Chase here, his second tackle of the game. Yeah, Hackle, run defense, joining the party. But he says it, he said run defense is tough. You can have hats on ball, three out of four plays. All it takes oh, yeah. is that one big run. But so far he's holding up. I'm not running that no more. Well, we're starting to Come talk on, now. In the second half. And here's a third and 14 and coming. Brady's going to get in the gun. User only gets in the shotgun 29% of the time. This is not where he wants to be. With two minutes to go in the third. Big third down. Oh, yeah, Brady can't get yeah, rid of it. Oh, on, Sack man. him up. It's Montez on, Sweat. And you got to oh, get your boot out. And that just all Who starts with Nick Hackle's run defense. defense. You blow users run up on first and second down. You get him into a third and long situation. He only has that one wide receiver who's not tanked than Devin Hester. He's not going to have success in those situations more often than not. That was a good defense. Be returned, RG. That was dangerous. But good coverage there by one great user. All right, so look, we got Air and so Nick Hacko will take over at the 31-yard oh line. I played a whole half for no Air Reed. I think I got to throw out there real quick, Scott. I got to give a shout-out to me and my guy, users, Madden brother and friend, Loso, who's in the hospital right now getting over a tough car accident. Loso, we're thinking about you. I know you're watching the stream. Get well, brother. First and 10 now to 31. Chris Johnson put Dion on skates. It's between him and Tillman. And Pat will force him out at the 45 and plus territory. Yeah, users run defense has just not showed up to this party. And you thought it was going to be users, Chris Johnson, that was doing all the work. But Nick Hacko and his run game have truly showed up. He's given up. 228 yards on the ground. Nick Hacko only has three yards passing. And here's Chris Johnson again. Stiff arms one, but Pat Tillman able to lay the lumber. And it's going to be a second and eight. That's what you're trying to see from Pat Tillman. You spend all that cap on him. You're expecting him to make those big hits. Finally, he comes through for user. Gets a hit on that Chris Johnson. Ball at the 43. 35 seconds to go in the quarter, and we got a bunch of guys in the box here on D. And they're going to run it anyway. 
They load up the box, RG, and he still hands it off. It's going to be a big third and 11, Scott. It's going to be Hacko's West Coast Bunch against users 3-4 solid. Go get him, defense. You would think this is two down territory. Let's see if he runs a play before we head to the fourth. Up to the line. And he will take it to the fourth quarter. 14-14. We go scoreless in the third after a myriad of points in the first half. And it comes down to the final five minutes to see who is going to be trying to get out of this division and face the winner of Civil and Boogs. We're playing right now. We'll have all those highlights after the end of this one. Put your fours up. Here we go. Wilson to the outside. He overthrew him. Oh, my gosh. The former second baseman for NC State threw that one in the stands. Now it's decision time for Hacko. You're not in field goal range. You're not in your own territory. He's likely going to go for this right here on fourth down. If you're scoring at home, that was an E4. E4. <laughs> he's, he's going, Scott. Big fourth and 11. Ball at the 46. Trying to keep the drive alive, and he threw it right at Tillman's feet, and it's a turnover on downs. That never had a chance. This is a good Madden game or what, huh? I mean, these guys are knotted up at 14. They have been battling back and forth, fighting their hearts out up there on the main stage. Someone's going to have to make a play here in the fourth quarter and take control of this ball game. And right now, user has a great opportunity to do so with the rock in his hand. Now one great user, the guy that lives about 35 minutes from downtown Charlotte, where the Panthers call home. And he sends the heat with Montez Sweat. And user can't get out of there. If you're user, you can't do that, Scott. He's falling in love with that deep ball to Hester. You got a run first type offense. He just can't take a sack on first down to get you this second and 17. It's not the way this offense is built. He, know, he knows it, too. He's kicking himself in the butt for that one. And this time, Brady will hand it off the middle. And here comes third down. Third and long. He's run the ball 20 times for 83 yards. Coming up on four minutes to go, RG. I'm trying to think what, what user's going to do here. He doesn't have many plays for this situation. I'm telling you, Devin Hester, that only receiver, Brady, just doesn't have the mobility to get it done. I mean, his team is not built for these situations, and he just keeps on finding himself in them third and long, time and time again. He's just not managing the offense the correct way. And part of that's just hats off to Nick Hacko. Watch Hester coming around the middle here. He's going to flood it to the right and try to hit Hester back to the left. And here he is. And he's big time hit. That's a whole lot of D. Go win the game, bro. Go win the game. That's good defense right there from Hacko. User goes to the same exact passing play game, he had success bro. with. Hacko stays with Hester until he crosses the middle of the field and comes and down. It's another fake. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and boy, this time no, it doesn't no, no, work. No, not again. Not again. Not again. No, no, no. Takes a special kind of dirt bag to go for the fake. The same fake twice in one game, Scott, but. Uses that special kind of dirt bag, and I mean that in the nicest way. But that, 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 I don't know about that play call right there. And so now Hacko needs about eight yards to get in field goal range. Yep, here comes that stretch to the left. He's showing you had so much success with this. User controlling that Pat Tillman with tackle supreme and enforcer, 42 cap for those abilities. And Chris Johnson will pick up a yard. It'll be second and 10. Maybe got half a yard. I mean, they're kind of just stalled out in this middle of the field, Scott, between the 40, each other's 40 yard lines. Neither one of them able to break into field goal range here. 
If you're Hacko, you got to take advantage of this field possession and get yourself some points. Nick Hacko beat Allen to get here. Get out, get out, and then out, beat Viz and Chris and Johnson. With a stop. Come on, man. Three the touchdowns now for CJ. Stop the run. And Hacko regains the lead. Oh, Lord, the boy is playing some good team. <laughs> you got the juke on me right there. Come and on, it's man. up and it's good. Yeah, Two plays, up, 42 man. yards, taking up just 33 seconds. On, Lock up. And now users Lock backs up. against the wall. And that's Nick Hackle bringing that jukebox ability to the West drive, Coast right? offense. If he doesn't have jukebox, right that's I'm a tackle in the man. backfield. Instead, he uses no the drive, ability, man. times man. the juke, and gets rewarded for it with a crib shot. Look at this. Whoopsie! And I'm off to the cribbo to take the lead in the fourth quarter in the biggest game of my life. You think Nick Hackle's hyped? What a game it's been so far. And now the differential is seven for one great user. It's the old head versus the youth. And the youth movement has got it done here in the, a the NFC so far. Henry with a big win. Over Evil O, and now one great user finds yeah, himself sweat. down a touchdown. Yeah, Sweat, he don't want to pass. He really don't want to pass. Montez Sweat I has been an absolute animal here. in the second half. Oh, for sure. Big play right there for Montez Sweat. And we told you the key to the game was going to be user's run game versus Hackle's run defense. And in this fourth quarter, it's been all Hackle with that run defense. He's got user boxed up right now on offense. Put Shazier back at fullback. And he's going to flip the formation. Doesn't have a lot of time. I don't like this. This is the same exact play he just ran. And he goes to the short side, and Troy Palomalu will bring him down at the 27. And that takes us to the two-minute warning. 21-14. Nick Hacko trying to hold on to move on and face the winner between Civil and Boogs. As the Falcons and Buccaneers are battling out on the other side. Nick and TD will have all those highlights. This is it, Scott. This is a big, big play in this ball game right now. Third and seven. Fuser doesn't get this. It's going to be awkward because if Hackle stops, and he'll be in field goal range. Woo! And a good find outside to the 44-yard line. Got a score update from the end of the game. 14 to 10, Sybil with the lead with 2.15 to go, so we might get some bonus coverage depending on how this game goes. That was a big play right there from one great user, Scott. That's in the third quarter. When you got two runners over here on this side, the clock's on the move. That other game is taking a bit more time. So we'll get a, a good chunk of that game pending when I'll head to overtime. 105 to go, here's the second and nine. This one's gone by quick, Scott, all that running. Under a minute to go now. And there is the RPO to Hester. That'll pick up the first down. And now you want to use a timeout, and he will. Yep, and with that timeout, if it wasn't before, this is officially the guap drive. User is all in on this drive. He needs a touchdown to keep his club championship hopes alive. Will he go down and tie the ball game, or will Nick Hackle Step up with the stop he needs. This is what it's all about here at the club championship, Scott. So first and 10 at the 44. He'll go to the air with Brady. Steps, oh looks at it. Looked like it was going to be picked off. Instead, it's a completion all the way down at the 26. The clock's ticking, Scott. The clock's ticking. And he'll run it off to the 32 seconds now. 31-30. First and 10, a lot of time coming off the clock here. Brady, looking downfield, he's gonna run. And now you gotta use a timeout. That was a lot of time that came off the clock. That was a lot, about 20 seconds off to that completion. And if you're a user, you're getting yourself in an awkward situation here. You just don't have the offense built to get these chunks of yardage. But every time it seems like he's down and out, he's been able to make the play that he needs. Has he got any more magic left in him? Second and seven Wait, now, here's the heat! Come on, man! 
And now he's out of timeout. 16 seconds to go, third and 14. That might have just been a $3,500 sack right there from Nick Hacko. Took Uja's last time out. It's third and 14 from his own, from Hacko's 30 yard line. If you're Uja, you gotta go for the gusto. If you're Hacko, you gotta wrap it up right here. Go, go. He needs to get inside the red zone at the 16, but he's got no timeouts. It's gotta be the end zone or the sideline. He's just gonna send out three routes. Scott Wyatt going up on that wheel. He wheels it to the outside and Jackson secures the bag. It is an INT for Nick Hacko. A good game, bro. And that'll do it.